Joseph loved video games. He would play them in the wooden shack his creator left him. Yeah, Grandpa rules. Yes. Joseph, could you come here a minute? Joseph, I'm sorry to have to tell you this. But we'll be moving again and we won't be able to take you with us to the new house. The neighborhood just won't accept robots and we cannot afford to keep moving like this. I know I didn't get a chance to program you the way you should be to know everything. But trust me when I tell you that every step, every stone will reveal itself in due time. I know you will make me proud. He was alone and needed money to provide for a companion. Sixty-five cents. Can't do much with that. There wasn't any other robots like him, only humans, all different kinds of humans. His past dates didn't work out. So like, you're a robot? Does that mean you have like a little screwdriver down there? So you don't have a job and don't need sleep. I wonder if I could reprogram you to obey my every desire. My last boyfriend, he was so cute and rich. You're cute, but I don't know. While I'm away, you could do work, so it wouldn't matter that you're broke. So you have no money ever? Say, are you powered with a typical bot unit the military uses? Wait, how old are you? Well, technically I'm five, but my creator programmed my mind to be between 22 and 36 years old. <laughs> I'm not gonna date a five-year-old. They didn't appreciate him for who he was, nor did they like the fact that he had no income. He searched for work, but it wasn't easy. Still, Joseph never gave up. Ice cream. Everybody loves ice cream. Eventually, he was a sign boy for a local ice cream shop. Okay, so all you gotta do is wave at the people and wear this sign. It's an easy enough job, but I can't get a monkey to do it. Nobody wants to work these days. I want to work these days. Well, I hope you do. The last idiots just gave up, or they were too busy chasing girls or playing on their cell phone. It would be humiliating for most, but Joseph loved it. Miss Bonnie took notice of his great work ethic. Joseph!
When you get done your shift, come on inside. I want to talk to you. Am I being fired? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. Just come inside when you get done your shift. 7 p.m. sharp. It's 7 p.m. sharp. What did you want to talk to me about? Oh, um, one moment. Yeah. Sent that yesterday. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. You too. All right. Bye. Okay. So I wanted to let you know that I had a kid quit yesterday, and, well, I've been impressed with your work ethics. So I'd like you to start closing the store for me. You'll have free run. Uh, here is a guide so you'll know what to do. Yes. And you can do anything you want, except never, ever go down in the basement. You got that? Yes. I don't want anyone else down there, even if you run out of ice cream or change. Yes. It's off limits. Just for me, down there. Now inside the shop, Joseph was happy to serve others ice cream. He enjoyed being useful. $220. Ice cream, please. Then he met a girl he fell for. She was unique, an outsider, just like him. Hi. Hello. What type of ice cream can I get you today? Um, any kind you'd like to get me, I guess. That's different. Most people decide to make their decision for me. Well, I'd like you to decide. Okay, okay. This is a mixture that I recommend. That's great, thanks. Um, say, are you, are you doing anything tonight? I, uh, I really wanted to go see that kitty movie, but I don't have anyone to go with me. Yes, I have money. I can take you to a movie. Uh, um, Luli. Uh, Lu Luli's my name. Most people call me Loser, but it's really Luli. I like that name. I'm Joseph with an F. I, I have to take this. I'll, I'll see you tonight, Lily. Hello? Did you... Did you go into the basement? No, I didn't. Just like you said. I got notified that someone was in the basement. <laughs> My egg! My egg is gone! Miss Bonnie used to sell real estate, but when the market crashed, she did too. She couldn't deal with failing and decided to end it. Little did she realize her life was about to turn around. She found a magical egg that would produce her first thought. It reminded her of... Ice cream. She hadn't had any in years. Now it would produce delicious ice cream for whomever had the egg. Hey. Hey. Where is my egg? Egg? What? Uh, you never showed me any egg. It's not in the manual. I, I don't get my egg back. And I mean I want it soon. You're fired! And you'll never be allowed in this ice cream shop again! Maybe it was the sadness 
but for the first time, Joseph had a dream. He was a real man with Luli. He was happy. But sometimes dreams are nightmares. Lily! Did a pretty girl that dresses differently come by here recently? Um, yeah, she did. She was about to buy a ticket, but then she got upset and left. Oh my. Oh no. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Dude, come, come on, man! Joseph was distracted by her eyes. He stole the egg. Hey robot, what's the matter? Run out of battery. <laughs> that man, he gave you that ice cream. Do you know him? Yeah. What's it to you? Well, he took something of mine and I need to get it back. Yeah. My life is over. Lufa always been a thief. Bit of a bully to me in high school. What's it worth to you? Oh. Well. Got. You give me what you got there, and I'll give you his address. Well, I was supposed to. Okay. So, where is it? Four Church Street. 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 He waited for Mufo to fall asleep so he could return Miss Bonnie's egg. from me, robot boy. You can't steal something that's already stolen. You've ruined my life. Life? You're a robot. You don't get to have a life. Yes, I do. My creator gave me a life. <laughs> ah, yes. Another dream. You. 
you will be special. You'll grow to be more than just a robot. And I'll name you Joseph. Fortunately, Joseph was great at escaping, only this time more sneakily. He hurried back to see Miss Bonnie and waited. Waited for hours. You finally decided to return what you stole, huh? No. I had to track down the real thief to get it back for you. Get out! You're a terrible robot. I'll have you turned back into the scraps you were made from. Get out! He did feel terrible. He didn't know what to do. Joseph just walked alone. about the other night. My roommate called and she told me my cat had died and I just, I got so upset I completely forgot about the movie. I'm really sorry, I, I didn't mean to let you down. You didn't let me down, Lily, no. I'm sorry about your cat. Would you still wanna go to that movie sometime? That would be great. So you still wanna hang out? It's, it's not too late for you? No, I never sleep. Let's play video games all night. Do you like Fright Show Fighter? That's my favorite game! And so, Joseph found what he was looking for. He found love.